Hi, I'm Picky Apricot Steve Andrews, and I'm going to show you how to integrate Wild Apricot with your WordPress site. You can add member only content from your Wild Apricot site into your WordPress site and provide a single logon that authenticates Wild Apricot members and logs them into both their Wild Apricot and WordPress accounts. Using the Wild Apricot login for WordPress, you can also restrict content on your WordPress site to your Wild Apricot members, in addition to providing access to restricted Wild Apricot content, such as member directories and member only events. The first step in integrating your WordPress site with your Wild Apricot account is authorizing WordPress to access your Wild Apricot account via Wild Apricot's API. To authorize WordPress to access your Wild Apricot account, hover over the Settings menu and select the Security option. Within the Security Settings screen, select the Authorized Applications option. On the Authorized Applications screen, click the Authorize Application button. Within the Application Authorization screen, click the WordPress option, then click the Continue button. From the Application Details screen, copy the API key, Client ID, and Client Secret. You'll need these values when you set up your Wild Apricot plugin in WordPress. Next, enter the organization name and introductory text to be displayed on the single sign-on screen. If you want to allow members to log in using their Facebook or Google Plus credentials, assuming they have the same email address for their social network and Wild Apricot accounts, click the Allow Login via Social Networks option. Under Trusted Redirect Domains, enter the full URL of your WordPress site. Click the Save button to save your changes. After you have authorized WordPress to access your Wild Apricot account, you need to install and set up the Wild Apricot Login plugin on WordPress. Plugins are only available for WordPress.org users, not for WordPress.com users. There are two ways of installing the Wild Apricot Login plugin on WordPress, automatically and manually. To install the plugin automatically, log in to your WordPress site, then hover over the Plugins menu and choose the Add New option. Next, search for the Wild Apricot Login plugin. Once you've found the plugin, click the Install Now button. When prompted to confirm your choice to install the plugin, click OK. After the plugin is installed, click the Activate Plugin link. Within your dashboard, hover over the Settings menu and choose the Wild Apricot Login option. Within the Wild Apricot Login settings, enter your Wild Apricot API key, Client ID, and Client Secret values. Optionally, you can change the default label for the Login button. Now, click the Save Changes button. The API key, Client ID, and Client Secret fields should now appear as set. Now, you can click the Update button to update your WordPress roles with your Wild Apricot membership levels. Once you have installed and configured the Wild Apricot plugin on WordPress, you can display a login button for single sign on by adding a widget installed along with the Wild Apricot login plugin to the header in your WordPress theme layout or by inserting a short code in your page content. To display the login button within your WordPress theme header, which can appear as a sidebar for some themes, hover over Appearance, then select the Themes option. On the Theme screen, click the Customize button for your current theme. Click the right Chevron button to the right of Widgets. Within the Widget area, click the Add a Widget button. Next, search for the Wild Apricot Login widget. And click it once found. 
Within the settings for the Wild Apricot Login widget, you can change the Login button label and specify the name of the WordPress page you want to redirect members to after logging in. Leave the redirect page field blank if you want them to remain on the current page. To display the login button for single sign-on on a WordPress page or blog, add the following shortcode to a page in either visual or HTML mode. Where login label is the label appearing on the login button, and redirect page is the WordPress page to redirect the member to after logging in. To restrict WordPress content using Wild Apricot membership levels, add the following shortcode to a page or custom menu. Where roles are the WordPress roles that correspond to Wild Apricot membership levels to which you want the content restricted. Multiple roles must be separated by a comma. Message is the message to appear in place of the restricted content. A login button will appear below the message. The content between the WA restricted tags will only appear to authorized users. You can add a NOT operator at the start of the roles attribute to specify all roles other than those listed. With the Wild Apricot login plugin installed, activated, and set up, any Wild Apricot widgets that you have added that require Wild Apricot authorization will automatically display a login button in place of the content unless the visitor has already logged in. When a visitor clicks the login button on your WordPress site, the single sign-on screen will appear. The title appearing at the top of the screen is the organization name setting on your Wild Apricot Authorized Applications screen. The text below the title is drawn from the introductory text field. The single sign-on screen is hosted on your Wild Apricot site. On this screen, your visitor enters their Wild Apricot credentials, then clicks the login button. Once authenticated on your Wild Apricot site, the member is also signed into your WordPress account. If a user with the same email address can't be found on your WordPress account, a new user will be added with the following username. Where user ID is the member's Wild Apricot user ID. Other user fields will be filled using information in the member's Wild Apricot contact details. Their role will be set to their membership level. If their membership level does not already exist as a role, one will be created. If they do not have a membership level, they will be assigned a role of WA non-member contact. Any changes made to their contact details on Wild Apricot since their last login will be used to update their WordPress user profile. Once your member is logged in, the login button on your WordPress site becomes a logout button. Clicking the logout button will log the member out of both their Wild Apricot and WordPress accounts. To test your WordPress integration, you should add a test member to your Wild Apricot site. You cannot log in to the single sign-on screen on WordPress using the same email that you use for your WordPress administrator account. I hope this was helpful.